Hey everybody and welcome to this video series about how we can build a REST API. It is a flexible structure, scalable structure that will allow you to, uh, as it says, uh, build a an API, an application program interface that will allow you to connect different types of front ends. And behind the REST API we have a database that will serve the data and uh, save the data. And then we can connect various front ends to this REST API. And uh, there is a lot of different applications today that uses this architecture. So we can see that we have, uh, it could be anything from web apps to a mobile app, native Android app, a desktop application, iPhone app, or um, a JavaScript web app. So just to show you briefly what we will be building, it's gonna be a, uh, a CRUD, REST API that uh, also has authentication built in and it focuses around uh, some domain object and for this um, example here I've chosen to save a product could be anything it could be a movie or it could be a person or people whatever user uh, but the way it works is that we will be building this uh, using uh, MongoDB and I have MongoDB uh, Atlas running here, so it is an online database, and uh, we will be having a rather simple setup with uh, the products, as we, as I mentioned before, and also the users that will. And we don't have any data yet, but we will be able to create users, register users, and log in with them, and um, be able to use them to perform CRUD operations, so create and read and update and delete on the products and as I said before it could be anything it doesn't have to be products so this is an online database uh, running uh, could also be the local version of MongoDB so it's a NoSQL database and uh, the way it works uh, we will be building all of this together and uh, it will be using MongoDB and also Express uh, the Express minimalistic framework and Node.js server-side JavaScript so how does it work? Well, um, we will be using also Postman to test it out because as we can see in the image here, we will be building the REST API and the database. But in this video, I will not build a dedicated front-end app, but you could use whatever to build this in. It could be Vue or React or Angular or something like this or another framework, uh, iPhone app or something. Okay, so the way that we can test this API is we can use Postman or also Insomnia uh, to test the different routes that will be available in this API. So just to demonstrate, uh, we also we have a welcome route. Let's just see if I have it running. Yeah, we have it running right now. So we will be testing it localhost. It will be running on the local computer here. And if we send this uh, get requests. It will say welcome to the RESTful API, the man for Mongo, Express and Node.js. Then we can register a user. Uh, so we have a uh, route for that, user slash register, and we can go and create a user in the database here, say local user, uh, the name and the email, and then a password. So if we send this, you can see we get status 200. We will get uh, the user has been created. And I think if we go back to the database now, it probably will have created the user. We can see it has hashed the password and created it in MongoDB. So then we can log in. And we need to be registered and logged in to perform the CRUD operations, or at least the create and the update and the delete. We could use the retrieve because this is just a read only. Um, we don't have any data in the database. So if we log in using our uh, newly created user, let's see, it was maillocal.com. Yes, that should be all right. So now we're logging in using the login route and we get a token here. So then we can see that we will pass this around to actually perform the different CRUD operations. And let's just create one products uh, so you can see how this rest api will work let's just do product one description we have a price we have uh, an in stock 
property that will state this is in stock right now. It could be any properties for this uh, for this object. So we will create this, put this into the body. It's a post request. And I'm going to explain all of this in the video. Uh, to be able to actually perform this, we need to uh, send the authentication token that I just got. And this is an old one here, so I'm going to paste my new authentication token in here. And let's see if we send this. So now it will respond with 200. So now it has been created in the database. Let's see in the products. So now we actually have data into the database. Okay. So we will be doing all of that, uh, all the different routes here for this REST API, okay? And we can see the read is also working, okay? So this is just a brief introductory video to how we will, what we will actually be building in this uh, video series. So I think I'll just leave it by this, and I hope you will stay tuned for the next video, okay? So see you there. Bye-bye.